뿡뿡 <laughs> Are you sure this is how you play musical chairs? I think so. Why? No reason. Huh. Let's play again. Yeah. Brandon, that's John. Yeah, that's me. And we are excited about today's show. Even if you covered me in bacon and deep fried me, I couldn't be more excited. Really? Well, yeah, it'd be close. Yeah, thought so. <laughs> mm. Where did you get that? It's always good to have some bacon around. Yeah. Do you have any more? No. Yes. Yeah. Like I was saying, we have an awesome show with a one of a kind guest. Well, sometimes this guest could be a little too. One of a kind, but he's never low on confidence, and I've learned to never underestimate him or stand too close. Good idea. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Hey! <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> it's great to have you on the show. Oh, it's great to be here. <laughs> it's actually great to be anywhere, yeah. except for Platteville, Idaho. <laughs> People there are just mean. They got good taters, though but they don't like you to dig them up. Don't know why. They don't do anybody any good in the ground. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's pretty good logic. Though. All right, for those who may have missed the last time you were on the show, tell them who you are and what you know. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, I am Leonard and I'm a professional metal detectorist. I use Camilla here to find and locate treasure and other unvaluable objects. You mean invaluable. That too. <laughs> what brings you on the show today, Leonard? Do I have to have a reason to be here? No, I guess not. You can, I mean, you can just visit. <laughs> Great! Let's play a game! Thank you! I call this one, Are You Smarter Than Camilla? Okay, you may not know this, but every single thing in the world plays music if you listen for it hard enough. Camilla here can find the hidden song deep inside every object. All right, all right, she's gonna play the song for you and you have to look around and try to find out where the song is coming from. You got it? No. no. Perfect. Now, you two can play along as well. Got it? All right, here we go. All right. Get Camilla going. Oh, oh. Sounds like Camilla's picking up some country music from somewhere in the room. Hmm. What object in here is playing country music? Oh, I got it. What you got? Is that uh, is the cowboy boot? Oh, the cowboy boot. Yeah, Let's see. Yeah. That's good. Oh, nope. <laughs> the country music is coming from. from this tiny little world here. <laughs> what? Wh why does country music come from this globe? Are you kidding me? Look at all the countries on there. <laughs> Camilla doesn't lie. <laughs> all right, let's play again. All right. Okay. Oh, Camilla is picking up some rock music. Ooh. Where do you think that rock music is coming from? Take again. The tape. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Is it coming from that inflatable electric guitar? Look at that, it's right there. All right, I don't know, let's see. Let's ask Camilla. Nope. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Not the guitar, let's see. Where do you think it is? Uh, oh, <laughs> it's coming out of this rock. <laughs> Who would have thought rock music coming out of a rock? <laughs> can we can we move on now? This game is kind of impossible. Well, you know, sometimes things seem impossible, but they really aren't. Like one time, I thought it was impossible to get into a pair of spandex, but it turns out it wasn't. Now getting out of it, now that was... Hey, let's play again. 
Oh, this is that marching band music. Where do you think the marching band music is coming from? Uh, uh, <laughs> Can be <laughs> Is the <laughs> door? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh. Please tell me it's coming from the marching band hat. Oh, let's have a look. Nope, not from the marching band hat. Let's see. It's too obvious. Uh, Why does marching band music come out of a crazy? Well, I don't know. You know, Camilla, she never lies. That's a little dusty. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Sticks to deep high. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, just wondering if you might have a story for us. I do. About doing something that seems impossible? Definitely. Then take it away. The story I'm about to tell you happened in Israel after the reigns of King David and King Solomon. Both King David and King Solomon loved and worshipped God. But some of the kings that followed weren't as wise. One of those was King Ahab, who built a temple to a false <laughs> god named Baal. When the Lord saw this, he sent a really bad famine to destroy all the crops in the land. Then God sent his prophet Elijah to go talk to Ahab. Elijah asked the king to gather the people of Israel and all the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel. There, Elijah asked the people of Israel, How long will it take you to make up your minds? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal is God, follow him. Elijah told the prophets of Baal, to prepare a bull and place it on an altar, but not light it on fire. Then Elijah would prepare another bull on an altar to the Lord. Elijah told them that the God who sets their altar on fire is the one true God. From morning to noon, the prophets of Baal danced around the altar, calling their false God to set it on fire. Nothing happened. They danced harder and shouted louder all through the afternoon, but there was still no answer. Finally, Elijah stood up and took 12 large rocks and rebuilt an altar to the Lord that had been torn down. He put the bull and sticks of wood on top of the stones, and then he dug a ditch all around the altar. He told some people to fill up four large jars of water and to pour that water on the altar. Elijah had people pour water three times. There was so much water, it even filled the ditch around the altar. Elijah knelt and prayed. He said, Lord, answer me so that everyone will know that you are the one and only God. That's when flames fell from heaven onto the altar. They instantly burned up the wet wood and sacrifice, even drying up the water in the ditch. The people fell on their faces and shouted, the Lord is the one and only God. Now the prophets of Baal tried to escape, but they were captured and wiped out. Elijah told King Ahab to get ready because rain was on its way. Soon after, fat drops of rain fell onto the dry earth for the first time in three years. God had done the impossible. The end. How awesome was it that everyone got to see God do the impossible? I know, he sent fire down from heaven. <laughs> yep, impossible takes on a whole new meaning when God's involved. Nothing's impossible to him. Hmm. Awesome story. Thanks, Kellen. No problem, I'll see you guys soon. Do you think anyone who watched Elijah throw all that water on the altar thought he had any chance of, of lighting it on fire? No way, zero chance. They had to have thought it was impossible. Now, they had to. Just like it's impossible to eat only one potato chip. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yes, just like that, John. Mmm. Mmm. Have you ever tried? I'm telling you, it's not possible. Uh huh. Reveal the question. 
What seems impossible to you? Sometimes it seems impossible to stop looking at my phone or stop binge watching a show. It might seem impossible to get along with your brother or sister or to even wake up in the morning. Maybe you're going through something right now that seems impossible. This might be a good time to talk about it. Yeah, what seems impossible to you? That's it for today's show. I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and I have a little something for you. Yeah. Bon appetit. Huh? I'm good. Oh. It is possible to eat just one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you next week on the so-and-so show. <laughs> I didn't know you like heavy metal music. What you got coming out of your head? Look at that. What is that? That doesn't even sound like music. Oh, oh. Hey, let's see what you guys sound like. What do you guys sound like? Oh, you guys sound like angels singing. <laughs>